In this video, we're going to look at the new inline debugger feature for PowerShell Universal version 5. The inline debugger is actually a console that will pop up and allow you to walk through your scripts uh, directly in the browser. So I have a script here, uh, just does a couple things. It's going to get the process, then we're going to look up the universal server process and store it in the process variable. I do have a wait debugger call here, and that's actually going to initiate the debugger inside my environment. So if I actually quick run this script, it's going to start it in the background, and if you actually go to the jobs, what you'll see is the job has moved from a uh, running state to an in breakpoint state. So if we actually go look at this job, um, instead of the output, what you're going to see is an actual PowerShell console. If I were to, for example, uh, type dollar sign process, you can see it has all the processes because that was the first command inside uh, my PowerShell script. I can also do things like look at the variables, so you can see that we have special variables uh, inside PowerShell universal scripts like UA job and UA script to see which script is running. And then if you do um, a question mark in here, you're actually going to get information about how to use the debugger. These are just the standard debugger uh, debugging commands that you could do in uh, PowerShell console itself. So um, if you wanted to see the source code, for example, you could use the list command. It's actually going to show you output of where you are in this script. And you can see I am on line two. If I were to use the step um, over command, it's going to move uh, the script one place further. So if I do V, uh, it issued the next command. And now you can see that I'm on line three. Again, I could look at the variables, I could set things inside here, I could you know, evaluate whether or not it's doing what it should be doing, and it's kind of a good way to uh, track down what um, you know, is going on inside your script in an interactive fashion. So once I'm done uh, with this, I can just type C, and it's actually going to continue the script. We're going to get some output, because now uh, it's transitioned back to the kind of the output view, and that terminal goes away, and you can see that my job is now successful. So in this quick little video, we looked at how to use the new inline debugger feature in PowerShell Universal version 5.